This is face to face with forum. We do indeed do a full face beat. Well, okay, so some people prefer to do the um, eye makeup first and then do their foundation. Depending on my mood, I do it the other way around. There's no right or wrong way. Good morning. Is that Tawag I see coming in here? Good morning. So today's live stream is sponsored by Jazz. And Jazz has decided to give away a gift card to the number one female gift of today's live stream. Woohoo! So the makeup look that we're doing today, but it is super easy. I thought we'd come back and make it a makeup look that anybody could do. Okay. Even me without guidance. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. So one of my favorite makeup tricks is to pretend like I don't need sleep and that I've slept, even though if I haven't slept, nobody needs to know. So I like to yeet my eye. All right, so we're just gonna go underneath the eye and continue to yeet up the eye socket. So it's really lifting up my face, isn't it? All right, so we're just yeeting it up and getting right into that corner. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so I love to blend with brushes. But I also like to use like a buffing brush like this and just really make sure that it's blended because what we're not going to do is be patchy magoo in these streets, okay? We want to get you live stream ready, darling, okay? All right, so we're just going to blend it into the nose as well. So listen, you don't have to be like a professional makeup artist to look cute when you go live. You really don't. <laughs> Grab your brush and literally just go around all the areas that just aren't perfectly blended and just like run it over your face. Because at the end of the day, yeah, they don't need to know that you struggled before you went live. All right, ladies, how many of you struggle to do your eyebrows? I've actually started my eyebrow there, right? And then you go from the middle of your eye where your pupil is, you look straight ahead. Now this, so what products do you use at the moment? My personal favorites are um, pomades and a brow powder. What do you use? And you literally put it right back down in the middle like that. And then right there is where your arch should begin. And then if you get stuck with where to end your eyebrow, you just want to get that same brush or a pencil. Come on, weave, get out of the way. And go to the end of your eye and go straight up. And you want to end your brow right here. And can you see? I haven't even filled that out yet, but my brow naturally ends there. So you get a mixing medium that actually what there we go right get some of that get your same eyebrow brush and just mix it so this is a mixing medium so whenever you've got like a product that's like a cake because we call this cake in the industry what's up coco we um revive it basically with a mixing medium so you can get it from so many different um companies mac do it I'm sure Sephora does one. I do one, of course. All right. So you can see it's got like a bit of product on it. Mama. Moving on. So we're going to go straight in the arch, right? And that's where you want to apply the black, right? Just like that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? And let me put some over here real quick. Then get rid of the excess because it's black. It's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. And get rid of as much product as possible off that brush. And then blend it in. And blend upwards, right? So this is really good if you go light. And then finish it up on your tail end. So you're going to want a majority of the product on the bottom and then just blend up the excess real gently. 
Because then what it does, right, is giving this really nice soft gradient. And then the excess, you can bring it forward. But you want the majority of it here. This looks advanced. I know it does look a bit tricky, but I promise you, I'm going to do this every week till you get it. Okay. All right. We're going to do the same on the other side. Sweetie, look at that newest top badge. Look at our newest top badge. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> Congratulations again. All right. So we're now going to. Okay. So I forgot to tell you guys that my mixing medium dries very quickly. So grab this brush from Morphe, it's at $2. And I like to start in the arch. Because what it's going to do, right, it's going to give the brows such a nice lift. Now look at that. Didn't it look a bit dark a minute ago? <laughs> You're going to be going live with eyebrows looking like you just got them done by the girls at MAC. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go underneath the eye and quickly set the concealer. So I like to um set with a yellow loose powder because I do have a golden skin tone. So you always want to kind of match your powders with your undertone. And then just yeet. There we go. Ooh. And then, so this is a little trick I've been doing with my clients for TV. I do a natural, um, like, highlight, and then I add a little sneaky, la bougie highlight underneath, right? What's up, Sasha? Welcome, welcome to Face to Face with Foreign. Okay, so then I add, like, a translucent e white one. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, Lakers! And then what you want to do is just put a little bit in the inner corner. You don't want to put it everywhere. All right. Just right here. I'm going to look crazy. It's okay. I know some of you are probably thinking, what the hell is Foreign doing? Don't worry. It's going to come together. Okay. It's like making fufu. You don't look normal before you mix it all together. Okay. All right. So now we did that bit. <laughs> We're gonna set the rest of the face with the with a set powder. I use a mixture of brushes and my beauty blender. I love beauty blenders. So I am a big fan of Mac Format, which is like a shimmery um, nude shade, and this suits like every shade of black. I swear, every shade of black. It works okay now if you are a little darker than me you can still use raisin but this is like like if you're Lapita shade like Lapita can wear this and it might look like she can't she can I promise you well get a brush like this this has no brand on it I don't know what happens but it's like this shape okay Look, it's blending into my skin. You can't even see it. Okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. So before you do anything, instead of using um, a brush like this, use a brush like this because it's more defined. Smile. Smiling fix everything. You want to smile and go right underneath. I've got a dimple, which kind of helps. But you want to go right underneath here with it. Okay. If it's easier, let it match the corners of your smile, right? Oh, I got two dimples. Okay. Damn, you added a lot of weight. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to go right here with it. And just very gently, don't swipe. Just literally dot it, right? Like that. Really, really lightly. Because, honey, you put it on, you can't take it off. <laughs> like that. Do the same on the other side. We're going to speed up a little bit because... We got 15 minutes, all right? Smile again and go underneath that cheekbone. Because remember, it's a shadow. And if you want, you can put it around the forehead. Because it makes your head look smaller. And that's your Rihanna. Okay. And now you want to blend it. 
and literally dab until it disappears. Because if you start swiping, you're going to move the makeup that's underneath and then you're going to be looking, you know, 17 shades of brown, you know? Smile and blend, just like that. All right, so we're just going to shove it along the eyeballs. Because everything else has been covered. She hasn't been covered, you know? Okay. We're just going to grab a quick nude. All right, obviously, we're using this palette. <laughs> And we're just going to shove on some Cinnapump really, really quickly, okay? Yes. Look at the eyebrows close up, please. Oh, my God. Doesn't that look good? Oh, that's pretty, too. They're very different, though. Now, when you put the tape on, only press down where the um, eyeliner is going to go. You don't want to press it all the way down anywhere else because it's going to yeet up your makeup. And the rest of it, ooh, I'm not going to lie, there are some eyeliners that make this so easy. If you're struggling with your eyeliner, it might not even be you. It really might just be the product. That's a perfect example of, it's not me, it's you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and smile again and go straight for the apples. So if you're not sure where your apples are, it's like the meatiest part of your cheek when you smile. The meatiest part, okay? So slap it right there and then gently like bring it upwards, okay? Just like that. And look, it's not offensive. I don't look like I'm about to like, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're back now. But yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Massive shout out to my number one, my number two, and my number three of today's live stream. And every single person that supported us today. Thank you for the favorite, Jay. We will indeed be back here next Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with more giveaways um and of course i'm gonna post every single product that i use today on instagram within the next hour okay be blessed alexis it was good to see you again it was really good to see you darling and i have to go and unblock some people oh jesus Sweetie. let me just take off my wig at this point i'm gonna take it off just gonna take <laughs> is it sweet tea thank you so much oh my goodness <laughs> i need new glue hold on alexa add lace with glue to the shopping list thank you so sweet tea trying to have me looking bald headed <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, thank you so much. I've had such a good time today, honestly. Now I have to go tidy up and, and really take off this wig because, baby, it's lifted, it's done, it's finished, it's over. You know what I'm saying? But I love you guys. Be blessed. And if any of you are going live, I will try and catch you in a little bit. Okay? Bye!